Yellow Jacket. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Ariana. And I'm Gabby. Today is Tuesday, March 13, 2012. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now for today's lunch choices are choice one, roasted chicken and cornbread or barbecue, real sub, choice two, greens, tater tots, and assorted fruit salad. Choice choice yogurt and cheese remember that friday march 16th which is friday is the last day to bring in your cake money on wednesday fourth grader fourth graders has a musical performance in the evening and now with the wcss daily weather report here's austin Thanks guys, I'm Austin. Today it is 58 degrees with a high of 81 and a low of 58. It will be partly cloudy with temperatures warming. In the morning it will be sunny or partly cloudy with a 10% chance of rain. In the nighttime it will be cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. There are severe thunderstorms on the south and east coast. That's all for today. Now back to our anchor. Now, let's take it to Sports Center Speed with Taylor, Mark, Barrar, Clayton, and Reed. Welcome to today's edition of Sports Center Speed. I'm Taylor. I'm Clayton. I'm Mark. I'm Reed. And I'm Barrar. In the U11 League, the TOF Rangers won four games in a row. The score of the first game was 3 to to 2 against ASG. The second game score was 10-2 to two against FC Dallas. Nick scored three goals and Martin scored some goals. The third game was against ASG. Georgia, the score was 5-3. to three. Nick scored one goal and Martin scored two goals. The last game was against ASG. The score was 3-1. to one. Nick scored two points. In college basketball, Florida State will face St. Saint bon Bonaventure in the in March Madness. Florida State will definitely win that this game. Florida State is 24 and 19, and St. Bonifer is 20 and, 20 and 11. In the NBA, the Timberwolves beat the Suns. The score was an amazing 127 to 124 without an overtime, which is very rare and very impressive. Kevin Love on the Timberwolves had 30 points, and Jared Dudley on the Suns had 28 points. But still, it was an amazing game, even though the Suns didn't play good enough for the Timberwolves. In the NBA, the Bulls beat the Knicks. The score was 104 to 99. Brandon Jennings scored 34 points. That was a great game. The Celtics beat the Clippers. The score was 94 to 85. That was a great game. It was amazing. The, the Celtics played very, very well. So they won. They got the they got what they deserved and won the Clippers on the other in hand. Lagged around all game. That's all for today's edition of Sports at Speed. Let's take it back to the studio with Gabrielle and Ariana. Now for a special segment of Feliz Martez with Marco. Good morning. I'm Marco, and your Spanish phrase for today is El Dia de San Patricio, which means St. Patrick's Day. That's all for today. Join me next week for another. Join me in two weeks for another phrase in Spanish. Now back to our anchors. Remember, call me Yellow Jackets too. Scope it out.
Day in history, March 13, 1813, Harriet Jacobs was born a slave in Edenton, North Carolina. In 1834, Jacobs escaped to the North and wrote a book about her experiences, which was later published. When the Emancipation Proclamation was issued in 1863, she wrote, I have lived to hear the proclamation of freedom for my suffering people. Also, on this day in 1852, Uncle Sam made his debut as a cartoon character in the New York Lantern. Uncle Sam, a figure symbolized in the United States, is portrayed as a tall, white-haired man with a goatee. He's often dressed in red, white, and blue and wears a top hat. And on this day in 1855, Percival Lowell, the American astronomer, was born. Lowell actually predicted the existence of the planet Pluto and initiated the search that ended in its discovery. Pluto has since become reclassified as a dwarf planet. That's all for today, Kyle Jackets. And then Rob Motto. Make the most of everything. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.